Now, as most of you know, I've covered the Sam and Sturgeon scandal a few times now, detailing Craig Murray, Kenny McGaskill, and Alex Salmon's evidence mainly, but also the odd story that the press have actually picked up on. So I thought I would give you an update on what has been going on since some reports are surfacing now. Only a week or two late, but the last few days have seen a couple come out at least. One of them could be very important to actually getting more information in the public domain that is currently being censored by the SNP. As you all know, and many of you have commented, the mainstream media has ignored most of the accusations against Sturgeon and her minions that really should be public knowledge, especially in Scotland. If this was all going on in London, it would be all we heard about and people would be stepping down instantly. You know, the BBC would be going on about it 24 hours a day. Sky News would absolutely love it and so would Channel 4 along with The Guardian and shit weasels like that. The reason I think this should be bigger news up north is because the Scottish people need to remember if the SNP can do this to their own friends and colleagues then imagine what corrupt actions they will use against you. And SNP supporters should especially take note also, this is the so-called Independence Party doing its best to destroy a former leader. If they are willing to do this to their friends, imagine what they would do to you, their own voters. But as I said, we have had a few updates on this, so let's have a look at them. It started the other day with Sturgeon's husband, Peter Murrell, giving evidence to the inquiry after his first attempt at lying to them got exposed. Shit, at this point, it's claimed he even lied in a criminal trial, putting himself in the firing line for perjury charges. He, of course, denies these, but the SNP Party HQ is under serious pressure to suspend Sturgeon's husband for his blatant bullshitting and general shifty behaviour the other day. Then, we also had The Guardian and many others reporting how the SNP and Greens have worked together to stop the publication of documents that could damage Nicola Sturgeon. The Tories, Labour and even the Lib Dems up in Scotland voted to release the documents but of course the independent supporting parties clubbed together to cover Nicola Sturgeon's arse. Alex Salmond and opposition politicians now fear that a whitewash is happening that is actually being reported in the Telegraph and let's be honest most of us thought was happening anyway. But they are calling this out just as the Spectator magazine goes to the High Court in Scotland to push for publication after they released some of the submissions the other day. We should find out about that one tomorrow when it actually goes to court. This obviously would be massively embarrassing to the committee, the SNP and everyone involved in hiding it. And it could well see Sturgeon either forced out the door or resigning the very same day. It's still highly unlikely, but it is certainly possible. If it all goes the right way, every media outlet in the country could well drop the full bombshell evidence, meaning tomorrow could be D-Day for Sturgeon over the Salmon affair. But if I'm really honest, Sturgeon should be stepping down now to save her own skin and avoid any fallout from her actions. I'm sure the EU would take her straight away and give her a nice cushy job. She loves them that much after all and they're gonna need all the help they can get. Let's be honest, they need it already. But I think myself, she is hoping she can Teflon Don her way out of this shit show and carry on regardless. She is sitting there thinking it's only a couple of months because we have three months until the Scottish election, which I have to say is a long time in politics. And even more so when accusations of you being a corrupt cunt are flying about like shit off a shovel. Personally, I hope she stays and the juicy details keep on flowing. Salmond is apparently going to give evidence at a press conference before Sturgeon's evidence next Thursday, so I will wait for that, which could be brought forward if the Spectator wins their case tomorrow. As it stands, the SNP appear to be hiding most of the relevant shit, especially when it comes to the accusations levelled directly at Sturgeon herself, which is obviously the juicy details that we all want. Now before I go guys, remember to follow me on my other social media channels that are linked down below. I have started an Odyssey account and all my videos go there now. You can sign up with the link that is in the video description and will be as a pinned comment to this video. Until then, I'll catch you all next time.